Today in this video we will learn how to design a simple low pass filter of fifth order. So we will start from the line 1. In line 1 it is written that f underscore sample is equal to 100. So actually what's the meaning of this? f underscore sample is just a variable this you can put any sort of name or any sort of word here when you when you have written this word 100 that is an integer it will be stored inside the f underscore sample so we will where we will use f underscore sample it simply means the value of 100 after this sampling frequency variable declaration we will come towards time time that time here mentioned is actually the time required to complete one cycle of a signal and it is all and it is always reciprocal to that of sample frequency so here it is written fs but uh, we are supposed to write f underscore sample is this variable and this variable must have to be same then we will come towards the third line in which we declare a simple A simple vector from 0 to 1 minus time with a step size of time here you can see that time is actually 1 by f underscore sample so it is 1 by 100 so the value of time here is 0 0.01 so what 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 will be the stored values inside this t what is the range of the values it starts from 0 then 0 0.01 is a step size that means that the difference between the two consecutive values and it will go up to the 1 minus time then in fourth line we are supposed to draw a signal so you can write any sort of variable here like i have written there signal underscore real is equal to sine of 2 pi 10 multiplied by t so actually what is inside the brackets it is 2 pi 2 pi means 360 multiplied by 10 10 is sampling frequency and this t this t is actually the time we are already declared here in the line number three so when all, all these values are multiplied and there is some answer inside the brackets the sign is a built-in command of matlab it will just apply the sign on all these values it is not a single value because we can see that this t that is small t is a complete range of values in line number three you can see that after the application of this sign sign upon a range of values all the values then will be assigned to signal underscore real so where there is signal underscore real variable there are a lot of values in it and all these values are actually part of sign signal so after we have got the signal underscore real we are supposed to plot it and plotting will give us a signal underscore real so in order to see the signal underscore real we can just like uh, play this 
uh, file yeah you can see this one the first one this signal is actually sign then come towards the line number six here we have written pause of four pause of four means a delay or pause of four seconds like in between this line and this line there is a delay of four seconds then we are supposed to generate noise noise is actually an, any unwanted signal that comes from the surrounding or from your environment and actually it is it is for the attenuation of the signal that is this noise is responsible for the distortion or attenuation of the signal so how we can create a noise signal we have a range n function in the matlab this range n will can generate any 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 type of random numbers like and there it's mentioned size of t so size of t is actually we can see it is from 0 to 1 minus time so in this t there is a lot of there is a there is a range of values so all the values or size of t simply tell us about the length of t size of t or length of t so whatsoever the size of t the small t is red and will create the same quantity of values so both now this red and size of t and t signal both have the same number of values then it is multiplied with 0 0.5 0 0.5 is like a general coefficient so in order to like uh, decrease the magnitude of this magnitude of this uh, signal so why it is so because uh, noise usually uh, is having a lot of disturbing values but usually its magnitude is less than the real signal usually because if it is more than the real signal we cannot like uh, it is difficult or even impossible to extract the real signal so that is why we multiply it with 0.5 then all this process that is 0.5 multiplied by rand n size of t all these values are then assigned to the noise underscore zero so noise underscore zero is having all these values so in line number eight we are going to com uh, combine the real signal and the noise signal so noise underscore zero is noise signal and signal underscore real is signal is real signal so we can add them and we can store all the the combination of these that is the noise and real signal the combination of both of these are stored in x small x then we are going to plot noise underscore zero so we can see this is real signal this one is noise yeah this one is then command of pause of four just creates a delay of four second then on line line number 12 there is a default function we have built in in matlab that is design field so what it will do actually it will just create a design a filter for us but we must have to give some sort of parameters inside the parameter 
brackets. So here, first we mention it is low pass FIR. That is low pass finite impulse response filter. So low pass simply means that it can allow or it will allow the low frequency to pass and high frequency blocked. So we can say low pass FIR is a simple filter which can which is having a finite impulse response and can allow the low frequencies to pass and block the higher frequencies then we are supposed to mention filter order filter order is a thing like uh, you can say the stages like first order filter second order third order fourth order usually these this order is actually the stages of rcr lc filtering like with op amps or butterworth filters so there are five stages for filter so the order of this filter is now five then we have to move towards the cutoff frequency what is cutoff frequency it is actually the frequency which is which is like uh, you can say a threshold a threshold all the frequencies which are below this threshold are supposed to block by this filter then sample rate sample rate is actually the number of samples we are getting in one second from the signal so fs is here we have written f s but actually it must be f underscore sample yeah we can like uh, yeah here yeah, yeah f sample because in the start we declared it has f underscore sample so it must be f underscore sample then we are now the filter is designed and all the parameters attributes are stored inside the design underscore lpf variable then there is a built-in command of filter the matlab is offering this command so what is actually happening this filter there is an input that is x actually what is x it is the combination of noise and the real signal or uh, it is like a distorted signal and we are supposed to make it clear so design this is considered x is considered as input and design underscore lpf is considered as the the design parameter part and this is input parameter so after this that is filter design underscore lpf comma x now this command will differentiate the real signal from that of the noise and the real signal is again stored in the variable y now we got the real signal our original signal so then plot of x plot of x means the com the plotting of the signal which is the combination of both noise and the real signal then pause of three means a delay of three second close of close all simply close all sort of figure and boxes and all these plot of y is uh, the signal we got after 
the noise removal or we can say after filtering we got the we got a signal which which we can plot like plot of y then pause of 4 is simply a delay of 4 second then now we will we will run all this all this program and then we will see what will happen first this one is the original signal this one is the noise this one is actually the combination of noise and original signal and this one is actually the signal we got after after filtering so although it's some bit attenuated or some bit disrupted but still it's good that uh, it's it, it is like our original signal so it's enough for today thanks for watching